This is the Pyron Man 5 Max case from Sunfounder, and this thing is pretty awesome. It's built for the Raspberry Pi 5, and it features a mini PWM tower cooler, dual RGB fans, and even a one inch OLED on the front that displays system resource stats. My favorite thing, however, is that it has a dual M.2 riser board that comes with it. Now, with that dual M.2 riser board, you can add in two M.2 MVMEs in a RAID 1 or RAID 0 configuration, or you can set it up the way that I did with an M.2 NVMe and the Raspberry Pi AI Halo kit. So what am I doing with that AI kit? I'm doing absolutely nothing with it since I don't actually have a camera attached to the Raspberry Pi 5, but it would make for a fun learning platform if you're doing any sort of AI development. Now it's not super powerful. The Halo 8L gets you about 13 tops of AI performance, but it is fun to play around with. For me though, I added in a one terabyte Kingston M.2 NVMe drive, and then I installed internet in a box, which is a great little project. It brings you local copies of Wikipedia, the Project Gutenberg library of over 60,000 eBooks. It's got Khan Academy Lite, as well as a bunch of other useful applications. Let me know if you guys wanna see any content on the internet in a box. But it's kind of crazy that like a good chunk of the world's knowledge is stored inside this little PC. And I know it's not actually a PC, it's a Raspberry Pi, but it kind of looks like a little PC. So building the case was pretty fun. It took me about 90 minutes to do it and I was doing it on a live stream. The instructions were really, really easy to follow. Now it's got a big power button here on the front and then the Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins are extended and exposed out the side of the case. The little mini tower cooler inside makes it feel like a little tiny PC. And these RGB fans in the back, I mean, they're cool looking, but they do make a little bit of noise. So if I had this on my own desk, I would probably want to replace it with something that runs a little bit quieter. One of my favorite little add-ons or little bonuses to this case is there is a daughter board inside that plugs into the micro HDMI ports on the Raspberry Pi and then extends them out and converts them to full HDMI. So you don't have to go around searching for the right cable. All in all, I think this is a super cool little case. You know, the base model without the AI chip or any sort of external storage comes out to about 108 bucks US, and you can find this at sunfounder.com. Check them out.